So why do I have a 24 inch concrete form tube on top of my truck? Well, because I started thinking about it last night when I was doing my engineering, not an engineer, on my shipping containers being dropped off. There's three points that the containers are very close together. Those three points, the shipping containers need to sit on the same pier. So two containers, one pier. So the rest of them are all 12 inch piers. So if I tried to put two 12 inch piers next to each other, I'd have a cylinder, two circles. And then trying to set two squares right next to each other on top of two circles, no, not gonna work. So just one big circle, that way those things can just set right up next to each other, exactly configured how I want them. To basically make a, a tight seal, for the lack of a better term. Yeah, that was a last minute change to my, my design. Like everything, it's like I have to literally go through every single little step in my head and play it on out through its completion and test it against all the different things that I need to do. You know, and so I start putting this stuff together and okay, I need this, this and then I get a little more in depth because it's just impossible for me to freaking isolate every single thing in the in the initial kind of setup of these things I uh, I just think about stuff endlessly to try to figure it out process it get it nailed in before I actually do it hopefully gonna be correct and gonna be good the first time because if I don't nail this I'm gonna have to spend more money doing something else to make it perfect and doing shit over again least favorite thing to do. Okay, for the record, I never thought it was going to be easy, but I didn't think it was going to be this hard in the stupid little laser level thing I bought. That thing is useless basically for this what I'm doing. Now I need string and a square. I'm inches out. And now I'm starting to think about it though. And I'm like, I got to dig these holes and a square ain't going to do me any bit of good. A string line will, but it's things aren't square. And I'm trying to get them perfectly square before I dig the holes. And now I was running to get a square and some string and I'm having second thoughts like I got to dig these holes and then I got to get everything perfect within a foot then I can get everything perfect when I'm putting the rebar in and get it all perfect and save myself hours of driving right now that's probably oh, I'm so glad I talked this out because I had myself convinced that I needed to go get a square and string well, I think as long as my measurements, see, I'm just not getting the thing square. This is the problem. The way I was trying to get it square, I was gonna get some string and just start running string lines. Well, that's a good idea, and that's a totally valid way to do things, but I would literally do all that work and then take it all apart and then dig the holes and then have to do it all over again. I think I could just rough it in a little better than it is right now. So if I could get the rebar put on perfect rebar to rebar, and rebar will be a lot easier to deal with than these stakes, because the stakes are like a weird shape. They're a rectangle, and probably 30% of them break when I pound them in, so then I just got these stubs, and, and they twist and they move. As will, well, the rebar, the rebar will move a little bit, but it won't twist, and it is measuring off a rebar, you know, I'll just be able to, the measurements will be more accurate, because it's, it's just a little point versus a rectangle, you know, one's, one side is longer, and i got to hook it on there, the tape, so, yeah, this is not easy, though, like, I have been here three hours, that's not a hundred percent on that on this layout, but that's a good percentage. And I 
literally have only got one shipping container laid out. I need to lay out four. And the second one, I just couldn't get it square. And I'm like, if I had a big ass square, I could just lay that down. There's the corner. Measure, 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 done. Okay, great. And then have strings to run off. Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, if I had a square, it would be a good idea. But right now, I mean, I might do strings and get a square because I could have the strings tied and then run the square off that. I don't know. This is hard though. You measure from corner to corner across and that's how you determine if it's square or not. I mean, measurements aren't even close. It's like a foot off. Meanwhile, I've got the other one that I'm basing everything off of. That's, that's why, that's why. I'm lining those lines up and those lines shouldn't line up on one because there's only one line and then it's staggered off on the other one. Okay. I needed a break, I guess. This road, entry road here, is not that flat. It's pretty good. This guy was impressed. He said it was a nice job site. I do my best. So now I have a nice big pile of concrete cinder blocks concrete tube forms, rebar, everything you need to have fun. <sighs> 10 acres and everything's a cluster. Maybe I'll fly the drone right now. I'm hungry, I need to eat. Hungry, eat, fly the drone. Then maybe when I get back at it, I'll actually be able to make a rectangle. A proper rectangle, not a parallelogram. Oh, the level of complexity is just increasing. And I realized like the capabilities of the truck to be able to get these things right up next to each other like I want to. So I have to take that into account. And this laser I bought is not going to help. <laughs> so getting this stuff level I don't know, maybe the laser will work for that. I can just set it up someplace and just determine level and then just beam at each one and just cut them off or pound them down to the height or something, I don't know. It's raining, I, I was hoping for some rain. You know, help this all settle down. Get what you asked for. <laughs> now I got mud, yeehaw. My trailer's mudified now. It's pretty much a work trailer. So yeah, it's raining currently. I'm about ready to go back though. <sighs> huh. That is the look of exhaustion. That is the look of a drone. If you could see my tech cuddle puddle, in my chair right here, you'd be jealous or ashamed. Shut the hell up. Can't even go five miles an hour without the damn buzzer. Today was extremely, oh boy. I got a lot of work done. The only thing is, all this work that I got done, that was just like the rough draft. I gotta build a damn foundations. And holy cow, man, I'm telling you right now. Lining all those things up, it's just so heady. You got each shipping container, and then you got each relationship to each shipping container. And it's three-dimensional, because I'm burying the foundations and pouring concrete. And now, my latest concern is cold weather. Can I pour? I know I can pour concrete in cold weather, but I just might have to have some kind of something special to put in it. At this point, I just know there might be something. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the temperatures are. I know nothing. I have to go figure all that out on the internet. It's magical. Some of these shipping containers, two of them set on one pier, which I've talked about. And then, I let, and then I add a layer of complexity 
when I decide this whole thing needs to be aligned with the compass. And then I have to pre-decide all the ways, the doors, what shipping container gets delivered in what order. It's logistics. What is today? Friday. The containers got pushed back a day, which is good, because they're showing up with two on one day. Wednesday, and it's Friday. What is that? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday is all the days I have the backhoe reserved for, but they kind of want the backhoe there for the delivery. I don't blame them, you know, when they're coming out and not knowing what the hell they're getting into. I mean, that ground, by the time I get done with this foundation and get everything re-leveled out, it's gonna be even lower than it was. The lower it goes, the more stable it is. That's the whole, that's how I look around and just notice like the roads are just cut down through the powdery stuff. That's basically what I did. In hindsight, a bulldozer would have been a much better piece of equipment for the stage. Much better. Because you can like get the blade tilted and it just can push a ton. Oh, live and learn. It also kind of, bulldozer would have given it a cool look because I wouldn't have had all these piles. It just would have had a dugout-ness to it. Which, you know, it still kind of has that look, but it would have been even more drastic. Which is cool looking to me. I like that, like a like an edge. Tomorrow I gotta freaking put, like it started today, was putting stakes in all these spots and trying to get them just right. And then I realized I just have to get them within, uh, you know, a circle of, the, of each other. Two foot radius of being right. Then I go back with the freaking rebars when those are perfect. God, that's such a bitch though, holy cow. I'm just thinking about that because I had to move the stakes. I mean, if you pound a piece of rebar in decently and oh, it's not quite right, I pull it out and move it over and pound it back in. Ugh. This is all.